selection criteria. Of course, source selection criteria is not going to be used at this stage, but it's going to be planned at this stage and it's going to be used in the contract, uh, uh, you know, creation and uh, vendor selection process. Source selection criteria is how your vendor is going to be selected. Uh, like I said, most primarily it's going to be the basis of cost. But in some more sophisticated organizations, uh, the criteria is not only on the basis of who is going to bid the lowest price. They have other very decent, well-defined criteria uh, uh, which talks about their quality, their reputation, their brand name in the market. Uh, their uh, effectiveness of their resources, their financial capability, their protection capability, warranty. Warranty is a huge, uh, you know, interest of the buyer organization from the seller organization because warranty is going to save side them a lot for a specific period of time after the delivery of the procurement, uh, procurement delivery. So warranty is also one of the very, so for instance, everything uh, between two prospective sellers are uh, looking good, but one is offering three month warranty and the other is offering six month warranty. Of course, any sensible person would go with a six month warranty offering than the three month uh, warranty. So warranty at times is a source selection criteria. Then uh, of course your intellectual property right, your uh, references in the market, your back checking uh, and based on that, what feedback the buyer is going to get, your uh, past projects and uh, the testimonials coming from them. Multiple things can come into picture. Uh, genuinely, there are organizations who are interested in knowing that if you are a trustworthy source to work with, that happens with us as well, as a trainer or as a provider organization for consultancy and training, uh, we are going to get back checked as well from our customers and uh, uh, you know, previous uh, organizations that we have worked with. So all of this procurement process, I follow in my current role as well. Uh, RFP, uh, tenders doesn't work in our case, but RFP, RF, RFI, RFQ is like, uh, a, like a daily thing for me. Uh, so RFI and RFQ via website, via email, via LinkedIn, Facebook, so the, via WhatsApp is a daily thing for me. So it's very, very common in the business. All of this happens. The source selection criteria in some organizations is quality. In most of the organizations, it is cost. It can be a combination of multiple criteria. So all of these criteria are stated, and this is not an exhaustive list. There can be multiple other criteria depending on the business, depending on the region, depending on the nature of work. Uh, when we used to be doing that for other vendors uh, uh, to select them, we used to create a uh, you know a group of criteria with certain vintages. For instance, uh, their understanding of the scope of work which we have provided in RFP in my case used to be a very, uh, very uh, highly weighted criteria because if the other party has not understood what you uh, have tried to explain uh, and they uh, they are reporting that they have understood everything, then this is going to be uh, reflected. This should be reflected in their proposal. If they have understood everything, this should be reflected in their proposal. And if it is not reflected in their proposal or in their demonstrations or conversations, then probably this is a question mark on their selection as well. Uh, and uh, warranty, like I said, uh, financial capacity, uh, resources and their capacity, how many backup resources you have, how many number of resources you have. At times, this comes into picture. So, for instance, I can tell you that when we uh, when we were working with uh, the K Electric organization, especially the Unilever organization, their processes for the procurement management, that, those were the awesome missed processes that I have seen. They were very particular about everything, everything. So, uh, it, I mean, it uh, it also depends on how established your own name in the market uh, as as a as an organization is. Yeah, because in that case, you are going to be very careful about the vendor selection because vendors are going to use your name a lot 
to sell them in the market. And uh, you you need to be like very careful that who you are going to work with, who you are going to select uh, select for your work, and if they are capable to take care of your branding, uh, in in front of uh, your stakeholders. So, uh, as sophisticated the organization and their processes are, as sophisticated is going to be the source selection criteria for the vendor. If you are going to work with like a mid scale or small scale organization in this capacity, they most likely are not going to talk about any other thing than the cost. 